Hello guys, welcome to another video regarding AdMets plus Mats. We are now going to deal with another uh, past year question that deals with circles. So it's more on circular measure. Okay, the question is, the diagram shows three circles with centers A, B, and C. So you notice A, B, and C circles each of radius 5 cm so the radius of this is 5 cm the radius of this is 5 cm the radius of this is 5 cm each circle touches the other two circles angle bac is theta regions so this one is the angle bac first question is write down the value of theta common sense question why because since this is 5 cm, this is also 5 cm. If this is 5 cm, this is also 5 cm. If this is 5 cm, this is also 5 cm. Means, okay, AB is 10 cm, BC is 10 cm, AC is 10 cm. Means, triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. And when we say it's an equilateral triangle, okay? The measurement of the angles are the same, okay? So basically, it's in geometry, we say one angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degree. But we don't answer in degree, but rather we answer in radian. So what is the equivalent value of 60 60 is equivalent to pi over 3. So number 1, answer is pi over 3 region. Do we need further working for this? Actually, no need. Okay, next, let's go to number 2. Okay, number 2 is... I am going to find the area of the shaded region between the circles. Okay, what is that region? This portion in black. The one, in sh the one that is shaded. So how do we look for the area of the shaded region? I am just basically going to uh, look for the area of the big triangle. Okay, how do I do that? You have a formula in getting the area of a triangle like this. Okay which is one half a b sine c okay a b sine c you know that the angle c the only given angle here is this which is pi over three and then a a and b are the, uh, the sides that are okay adjacent to that angle what are those sides side AB and side AC okay what is the measurement of side AB the measurement of side AB is 10 and the measurement of side AC is also 10 therefore okay this area can be okay 1 half times 10 times 10 times sine pi over 3 okay but I'll do a little bit of shortcuts what do I need to minus with this? Okay. Minus, you notice this sector, okay, is equivalent to this sector and also equivalent to this sector. So, these three sectors are all equal. Okay. So, I will just get the area of this sector, this sector, and this sector. Subtract it to the area of the triangle. Okay. Which is 3 times... What is the area of a sector again? It is one half, okay, r squared theta, okay, and the theta that we know is the theta region, okay. So basically, we'll just solve it like this, okay. So it will become one half, as I've told you, adjacent to this angle is AB. So it's 10 
Adjacent, another adjacent to this angle is AC. So it's also 10. Then sine. Remember, you are in radian. So when you use your calculator, you must also be in radian mode. Minus 3 times, okay, 1 half times radius is not 10. It is 5 cm squared times pi over 3. Okay, after that, I can already solve using my calculator. Okay, I will get 1 half. Okay, times 10, times 10, okay, remember you should be in your, okay, region mode, so it's 4, I, what, how did I do region mode, shift mode, then 4, okay, sine, pi, over 3, okay, Minus 3 times 1 half times 5 squared times pi over 3. Pi over 3. Okay? So, immediately you will get 4.0. 3136 But okay, remember in admats and mathematics, always leave your answer to three significant figures. But what is the uh, what is the unit for this? It is centimeter squared since we are using centimeter. I hope you have learned something. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.